Hi my loving Tiffany Thinks family, welcome to another Tea with Tiffany Thinks on a Tuesday. Today I am drinking a peppermint tea. Let me know what you're doing and what you're drinking. I love, you guys know, I love reading your comments. I always want to know what you're doing or what you're drinking, so let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm wearing the We Got This t-shirt. I've added so much to the collection. There's hoodies, there's tank tops, there's different t-shirts different colours so have a look if you want, there's a link down in the description box below if you want to get one. Today I have decided I have no idea what I'm going to talk about, I haven't really thought about a topic, I just wanted to sit here because I have been so unwell. Past few days I have been so poorly, I've just been in bed. I know I've kind of been very active on TikTok but all of that I've just kind of recorded before. On Instagram I told you guys that I was so so unwell and I've just been in bed. You can kind of hear it in my voice. I had kind of such a bad, I just had a bad cough. I was vomiting a lot. Um, my tummy felt weird. Um, and I've just been in bed. And I just thought, I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you because that instantly always makes me feel better. I did panic quite a lot. I thought I got the C. diff infection. I know I don't have it because my tummy feels fine. I think it's just a little bit of a cold. I'm not too sure. I am going to go have another blood test done tomorrow. I don't think I have an infection. I just think I've got a cold and it's going to pass. Today I feel a lot better, so I thought, you know what, I want to sit down and just talk to you. I feel like I've just been stuck in my room. I felt like I needed to get out of bed and I always instantly feel better when I talk to you and just let you know how I am. So, uh, you know when you get ill, for me especially, when I get ill now, if I vomit or... It's probably all the side effects of chemo, to be honest. I think it's all kind of building up. Chemo is very strong. I think we forget, well, I forget um, that chemotherapy is very strong on the body. Like, it attacks the cancer cells, but it also attacks the normal cells in my body. So, of course, naturally, the build-up of the chemo and everything is going to make me feel poorly. I need to remember that. Sometimes I do take a lot on. Um, in regards to kind of making plans with family and friends and I i shouldn't do it because you know when you plan far ahead I don't like letting people down I really hate it and also every day is so unpredictable like one minute I'll be absolutely fine I'll look good and I'll feel good and I'll go out and the next day I'm shattered yeah so what I need to do is I need to stop making plans too far in advance just because I hate letting people down and you know people look at me I get this a lot like even in the comments people say oh you don't look like you have cancer and I'd be like what does that even mean like what does someone with cancer look like like I completely get it sometimes I'm outside and I'm all dressed up and I'm seeing friends and I look good and I feel good so I get why people say, oh, you don't look like you've got cancer, but also on the days where I feel so unwell, like the past few days, I've just been in bed. Yeah, I'll post on Instagram, like I'll come on and say, guys, I'm in bed, I'm not feeling too good, but I don't take my camera out when I'm in bed, so I feel like you don't really see when I am really unwell, so I feel like when I get comments like, oh, you don't look unwell, or you don't look like you have cancer, I always feel guilty because I always feel like even if I put on makeup or even if I dress up, I always feel like, you know what, Tiffany, you're having a good day today and tomorrow you'll have a bad day. It might be a bad day. And then it's really hard for me to explain. Like, I'll make plans with friends and... I'll be so excited, I'll be like, yes, I'm going to go see my friends, I'm so excited. But then on the day, I feel so unwell, or I'm vomiting, and I just physically can't leave my bed. And then I'd have to cancel, and when I cancel, I feel terrible, because I know they've seen that I've been out, like on social media, I would have posted the day before that I've gone and got a coffee, or I'm out with Matt, and I feel terrible that I'm cancelling, because... I always worry that they're thinking, hey, that doesn't make sense, she was fine yesterday, why is she cancelling on us now? 
I don't know, I'm probably overthinking it. I know all the people that are in my life, they completely understand. I think it's just me, it's who I am. I hate, I hate letting people down and I feel like with cancer, I've got to understand that I'm going to have good days, I'm going to have bad days. And when I do have bad days, it's fine. I can't, I can't, I shouldn't beat myself up over letting people down because the people that I'm letting down, they love me and I love them and they know the situation I'm in. Um, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't think too much into it, but I think it's just, I want to see everyone because I'm gonna have surgery soon. I don't know, I haven't got a date yet. I know, I, I keep saying this in all my vlogs, I still don't know when I'm having surgery and I don't know how long it's gonna take me to recover from it. It's going to be a major surgery, we all know this, it's where they're removing parts of my body out, so it's going to be a hectic surgery, so I don't expect to bounce back, and I think that's why I feel like I want to see everyone, I want to kind of spend as much time as possible with everyone, because I'm going to be in hospital for a long time, I'm, the recovery is going to take me ages, and I think that's why I'm trying so hard trying so hard to meet up with everyone. Do you know what, all of this genuinely, do you know what, all of this sucks because like the things that I'm worried about, like I'm worried that something's gonna happen or I'm not gonna see my loved ones for a long time or I'm gonna be in hospital on my own. And like, and I just get a bit upset over people that are like, worrying over the most mundane things in life like, please stop worrying i always i always get like loads of dms and messages over things that i wish i could just say to you like honestly everything's going to be okay if you're worried about exams or you're worried about a relationship things like this you can control um so why am i getting upset okay i'm sorry okay it's got a little bit emotional. I think where it is, is like, I feel guilty. If I, if I cancel on someone, I feel guilty. If I dress up, I feel guilty because I feel like I'm not representing what cancer is like. And I just want to be as honest on these videos and I want to show you all the sides of cancer, but it's hard because there's days where I don't want to leave my bed. I don't want to pick up the camera. I don't want to see anyone. I just want to be on my own. I'm missing out on so much. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot. I can't explain it. It's like, this is why I don't follow many people on social media and I just kind of keep to myself because I feel like I'm letting people down. I'm missing out on like weddings and my friends having children. I feel like I'm not a part of anything. I'm on my own, like I can't. And I feel like people feel guilty. Like when they get good news, I feel like people aren't telling me because I think they're thinking, oh, Tiffany's got enough on her plate. So it's hard, it is hard because the journey that I'm on, I don't know anyone else that's going through what I am. Like, I don't have a friend that's going through anything like this. I don't have, obviously, I don't want anyone to go through what I'm going through. But it's like I can't even read a book. I'll read a book and I can't relate to it. I'll watch a movie, I can't relate to it. I'll watch someone on YouTube and I just can't relate. So I feel a bit alone. I feel like even though I've got so much love and all this support, having cancer is lonely. It's lonely. Hold on, hold on, I need to stop crying. <laughs> I know you guys don't mind when I cry and I get emotional because I feel like you all know that I don't really open up a lot in my real life and this is my place that I come to where I open up the most. I need to just drink some tea and just hold on a moment. Let me just drink some tea. Living with cancer, I always say, if anyone asks me, what's it like living with cancer? I always say it's 
a roller coaster because one minute you're like yes I'm gonna beat this I'm so strong I've got this I'm gonna get through this and there's days where I'm like you know what I don't think I can do this like how much longer and I just break down so it's honestly a roller coaster um, and there's days where I just I physically just think like I can't do it I just can't do it because I feel like my life has been like taken from me, like it's been stolen and it's unfair. It's honestly unfair and it's not just for me, it's unfair on my family, my friends, anyone that's going through an illness, you'd understand what I mean. It's, it's completely unfair that your life has to stop. Like I would absolutely love to plan a holiday, like I would love to be like, oh in October I'm going on holiday or in December I've got a holiday booked. You can't do that because you just don't know, you don't know what tomorrow holds and that's why I feel like I remember all this, especially when I get poorly, like when I vomit or if I'm in bed, I remember how precious every single day is and sometimes we worry about things that are, aren't necessary, we worry about the most mundane things in life. Sometimes we worry about things like exams and work and I always think, oh, when I'm better, how am I gonna go back to work? Would I have to study again? Like, things like that I don't need to think about. Like, sometimes I just, like, worry about little things that don't even matter. It really, in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. And I have to understand that. I have to always remind myself that every single day is precious. And if I'm poorly one day and I have to let people down, it's fine, they understand, I'm not doing it on purpose, I'm not intentionally cancelling, it's just one of those things that I guess the people around me will get used to as well. They'll know, like, okay, Tiffany is having a bad day, or Tiffany's having a good day, let's make plans quickly. And I, I know, I always try and tell myself this, but then when I'm unwell and when I'm cancelling plans, I get upset, I, I feel like I've let people down. You would have watched the vlog um, when Matt and I, we went to Tunbridge Wells, so the vlog that I just posted. If you watch that, you'll know that I had such a good day. I, I spent a lot of time with my darling Matt, I spent a lot of time in, with our friends, and it was amazing, it was so good. And then shortly after, I started to feel unwell, and instead of listening to my body, I just pushed myself and pushed myself. And I need to realise that I'm having chemotherapy and that is a very strong drug in itself and morphine and all the medication that I'm taking, they're all very, very strong, right? I need to remember that my body needs to be fit for surgery. I need to be eating well. I need to put on weight. I need to remember that I can't afford to get an infection. I can't afford to get ill right now because surgery should be happening soon and I need to carry on um, building up my strength so I need to listen to my body. I'm saying this out loud because when I'm watching this or when I'm editing this it's just a reminder Tiffany listen to your body if you feel unwell just sleep it doesn't matter your friends your family your loved ones are always going to be there for you and if they're not doesn't matter you don't need them they're not there for you when you're unwell you don't need them when you're better <laughs> cheers <laughs> I like sitting by my desk actually because I can put my drink down don't need to hold it the whole time if you're following me on TikTok no if you're following me on Instagram on my book page the Tiffany thinks book club page then you know I've been reading this I finished it and Honestly, this book made me cry so much. Reason why, I think this wasn't the best book for me to read, especially when my mind isn't okay right now. I shouldn't have read it, but it's, I did read it and ugh. I just picked this book up. It was so random. I just picked it up. I read the back and it said, can a love story with a perfect beginning survive a lifetime between two imperfect people? So I didn't even think, oh, it's going to be about children, about conceiving. I didn't even think it was going to be about that. I just thought there'll be some sort of drama. I was reading it, reading it, reading it, and I just... This book, I wouldn't recommend it if you're really struggling to have children or you know you can't have children. Like, oh, this book. Oh. But by the end of it, I just thought, you know what, real love, when you're in love with someone... 
I don't know, it's going to make me sad. I don't want to talk about it. I feel like I can't talk about much anymore because I just start crying over everything. I have filmed, okay. I think this is why I haven't sat down and filmed it because I know I'm just going to be an emotional mess and I'm not ready for that yet and I don't think you're ready for me to be an emotional mess but as soon as I am ready I will sit down and talk about this but if you want more information of what I've done you guys know I froze my eggs before I started chemotherapy um, I'll leave that video linked down below if you haven't seen it that was the most hardest time Looking back on it, I thought being diagnosed with cancer was the worst and it really wasn't. I think that journey, that whole freezing my eggs, um, that journey was probably the worst time of my whole life. I just kept thinking, firstly, oh, you know what, I'm going to keep that for that video because it's honestly now thinking about... <sighs> Sorry guys, I just feel like I'm getting hot getting worked up over something that I don't need to get worked up over. <sighs> Can you hear that dog barking outside? I really wish I had a dog or a little pet or an animal, <laughs> any animal. Do you know why I haven't got one yet? It's because I feel like it's not fair. I could get a puppy and I'd be so in love and so happy but it wouldn't be fair on the puppy because I can't give him or her my whole attention I'd be going to have surgery going to have treatment going to appointments and I'd feel really guilty if I'm unwell and I can't look after the puppy and then my mum and Matt they would have to take over and they're already doing too much you know I think once I'm better I definitely do think I will get a little pet I'm not sure I like cats I like dogs do you have a pet and what pet do you have I know it's not fair for me to get an animal right now it's just not the right time it's just not the right time and pets are so expensive aren't they I need I want to make sure I've got like pet insurance and everything like that so I know it's really expensive oh gosh I feel like I'm gonna cry again why it's fine Tiff, you're gonna get better. Why am I getting emotional thinking? Do you know what it is? I just feel like I can't do anything. Like I can't, I absolutely can't do anything because I have to think, oh Tiffany, you can't do this because you're not well. Or it's always, it comes back to, oh Tiffany, you can't, you can't get a pet or you, do, you don't, you're not working, you're not doing it. It's just, oh, it's just too much. <laughs> You know what, I'm going to stop this here because I've been complaining the whole time. I've been getting emotional for nothing and you guys don't want to see this. I know you don't want to hear this, you don't want to see this. We all have our own struggles like Tiffany, come on, get a grip. I'm acting like I'm the only person in this world with issues, with struggles. We all have something going on so I need to stop. I really need to pull myself together. I'm sorry that today's episode has been a bit all over. I know, I've just had a few bad days and you know what you're probably experiencing me on a bad day so I've told you I have good days and bad days and today is probably a bad day and I've always said I want to keep my YouTube as real as possible so <laughs> this is me this is me just overthinking worrying stressing over things that I can't control okay I love you all so much honestly I appreciate each one of you for being here for me for being part of this journey, for subscribing, for leaving me a lovely comment, for following me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. You're always with me and I honestly feel like you all are the reason why I get out of bed because I always constantly think, oh, I need to get a video out for my family or, oh, I need to edit, oh, I need to speak to you on Instagram, I need to talk to you, I need to message back. So you always give me something to do. So when I feel really low, my Tiffany thinks family, you're the ones I come to. You, that's the honest truth. I'm not calling anyone, I'm not talking to anyone but you, even now, you're the, you're the ones I want to talk to. So 
honestly thank you for listening thank you for being part of everything the good and the bad you're here through everything and i appreciate you okay i love you all so much thank you for watching or listening please leave me a comment if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and be part of my loving tiffany thinks family my instagram my facebook and my tiktok is tiffany thinks and i will see you on thursday for another video thank you so much for watching bye Mwah. Love you.